I never had the opportunity before to review a mini PC, but I was always intrigued to know how well they work and if they're worth buying. Now Boss Games sent me this PC for review, so I tested different games, I surfed the web, watched videos on YouTube, and even edited a short video. Just your typical user experience and this is what happened. Now first of all, let me start with some specs. This mini computer is powered by AMD Sentry Ryzen 5 5600U. There are 6 cores, 12 threads, 16 megabytes of RAM, max boost clock up to 4.2 GHz, which provides better performance in multitasking computing compared to previous Zen 2 processors. Radeon Vega 8 graphics, and the graphics frequency is 2000 MHz to support 4K playback. The enclosure is metal with ventilations all around the body, it feels premium in the hand and it's not that heavy. Here in the front we have the power button, two USB 3.2 ports, one USB Type-C and headphone jack. In the back we have LAN for internet, two USB 2.0, two HDMI 2.0 for dual monitors and power. At the bottom we have mountings for wall mount bracket and access to open the PC. On the box there are two HDMI cables included, additional screws and power supply, the mounting bracket and a hard disk drive connector. Now I opened up the PC just to see what's inside and we have 16 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 RAM for faster processing. There is also 512 gigs of M2 NVMe SSD interface with enable expansion storage up to maximum 2 terabytes, so you can expand the storage. And for connectivity we have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. The initial setup is just like a regular PC, this is running Windows 11 Pro and you just need to set up your Windows account connect to Wi-Fi, download some updates, and you're set to go. First I wanted to try some 4K video footage from YouTube and it ran smoothly at 4K 60Hz, no issues whatsoever, so if you're looking for a media PC or just to surf the web, this is perfect for that. I like it. Now I also do a lot of editing, so I download Filmora, which is the editing software that I use, and I'm running Filmora 11, which is the latest version. Here I'm editing a short clip for this video just to see how it handles rendering and so far it did a very good job with 1080p footage. I put together different clips, fast forward in some sections and it took around 50 seconds to export another 50 second video which is very fast. This is super convenient for someone who's starting a YouTube channel and doesn't have the space for a big PC tower. Alright so a couple of things. I'm playing with this monitor, this is the Samsung Neo G8 and it doesn't have any speakers so I connected my headset directly to the computer. You have a headphone jack right here, so it works perfectly fine, I'm glad with that. Secondly, I downloaded this game, Genshi Impact, my daughter wanted me to download this game, she said it's pretty cool, I never played this game before, but I know it's very demanding, so uh, this, com this monitor, it's a 4K monitor and if you use a 4K resolution on this game, it's terrible. The performance is terrible. It's roughly around 15 milliseconds. And I'm sorry, 15 frames per second. And it's just horrible. So I changed this to 1080p. Now, even though this game is online, it's very demanding and it ran very good at 1080p at 30 frames per second. I had no connectivity issues and no frame drops. The game performed stable and it looked very good and colorful. I'm beating up these guys right now. They seem pretty pretty easy. I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest. Okay, so now we're gonna play Sifu or Shifu. Whatever. This game is so hard. I, I I can't even beat this level. It's so hard. But uh let's see how it runs. I'm gonna show you the settings that I'm using right now. Let's go right here to options and video and I'm using full screen. Uh, 1440p, 2560 by 1440. Uh, everything is no uh, shadows and medium, textures high, view distance medium, medium mostly in video, post processing is in high, foliage is in high, anti aliasing is in high. So it's between medium and high. The settings that I'm using, and let's see how it runs. Hello, sir. 
here to crash the party. So uh, can I enter the party? I guess I can enter. Well, it runs pretty good actually. With the mouse, I'm playing with a with my Xbox controller, but it plays pretty pretty good. Whoa! Ha ha! Wow, it runs pretty good. I'm surprised, but uh, I feel like some drape uh, frame drops, especially when I'm switching to a different uh, area of the map. Let's see. So let's play a little bit of uh, Man Eater. This shark game is actually pretty good. And let me see the settings that I'm using right now because it's running very, very smoothly. So I'm 2560 by 1440, so it is in 1440p. Quality is in automatic and pretty much everything else is in low. Just like low resolution. Let's do textures in medium. Okay, go back, confirm changes. Okay, there you go. So here we have it. Man Eater. It's running smoothly. I don't feel any frame drops. It looks okay. It's not, it's not that sharp as right now because of the LED, the settings. Everything is just low. But uh, I am liking it. So in conclusion, if you're looking to buy a PC but you are on a budget, you don't have the space for a big tower, but you still want decent specs that are good for gaming, editing videos, surfing the web, watching 4K videos on YouTube. This mini PC is great for that. It sells for $470, but it is on sale right now and you can buy it for $400, which I think is worth every penny. To be honest, I was very skeptical about mini PCs, but now I am a believer. This little device delivers great performance at an affordable price. Check out the link in the description of the video if you're interested in buying one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out!